Phillips here at Down in Jacksonville with our friend Brian LaRoche at his studio, Brian Golf. Obviously, you got some clubs in front of you. Hey, my clubs. Yeah. So yeah. let's go through a little what's in the bag, or like I say, like to say with fitters, a why's in the bag, so you can kind of explain why you're playing what you are a little better than most people. A little so. bit. Yeah, because yeah. most people are going to get fit, and they're going to be like, I don't know, Brian told me. That's, you know, Keenan told me this is what fits me. The numbers were good. Anyways. Now you got no one um, to blame except yourself. I go a little bit farther than just the numbers, right? There's, there we go. you know, on course data, you know, the feel, all of that goes into it. But obviously, as a fitter, you're not going to put yourself in something that doesn't perform well for you. So we'll start with the most recent addition. Um, I'll just, you know, Mizuno Pro 223 irons, just put those in the bag. And then I teamed them up with Dynamic Gold, Tour Issue, Mid. So yep. um, th the shaft immediately, I've, I've kind of re-realized. X100 player uh, for a long time. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, you know, I was like wanting something a little bit more responsive. And uh, I had a little time with graphite and I decided, well, let's try these now that I got a set sitting around. So, um, you know, so far I, I've kind of, like I was saying, re-realized I need height and spin to play my best golf when you go to a difficult golf course, you know, firm greens. I, you know, the guys on tour, they put a, you know, obviously a premium on height and spin. Yep stopping power control and so far so good just a few weeks in with these but the numbers on here every everything's checked out the feels phenomenal I, I call it an improvement over x100 for me as far as that goes but i didn't really change much in my wedges uh, i still have x100 dynamic gold x100 soft step in my uh, 56 and, yep. and 60. done that for a long time i really have it's yeah. just kind of i don't know what it is about that um s4 just I think full swing S4 isn't there for me, you know, as much as the X1 is, even being soft step. So kind of always going that because you got all that speed. I guess so. Even with the wedge, man, right? And then this is, I, I call this my one like Frankenstein club, okay? Yes. Because this is a driving iron with a hybrid shaft, which, you know, the uh, Acura TZ5 now has a driving make a iron. iron specific one. Yes, absolutely. But I didn't have one of those the day that this head came in, the uh, Titleist U505. And so if it works, it works. Absolutely, uh, and it does. So I've gone in with the TZ5 uh, 95H, M5, everything's X-Flex. Um, oh, the wedges, by the way, Cleveland wedges. I played yep, those for yep. almost two years at this point. Nice little raw um, finish, too. Yeah, raw, custom grinds, Love you know. Uh, the no guy, big, no guy, big deal. I get taken care of with that, so, you know, I get a nice, uh, they're T-dub grinds. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's what they are. I mean, no big deal. No big uh, deal. It works for him, it works for M me. Might have heard of them. Three wood, uh, going kind of off of what you're going to see in the driver too a little bit. I'm doing some testing with that, but going off the two iron there. I have a TZ6. M5 and my three wood, which yep. look, they, you can't put it. This is the one time I'll tell you, like a, a three wood's supposed to just do its job. I need my three wood to go like 260, 270, and I, I need to just know what direction it's going. This tailor made stealth head, I know it's never going to go left to right. It's always going to move right to left. So uh, paired it up with this TZ6, and so far, so good. Obviously, the little spring major edition, you know. That's pretty nice, right? Yeah, there. it's pretty. Goes, goes, uh, not so good with the red and black head, but whatever, you know, we'll do that. Uh, and then, so driver, that you've is- been, You've been working for you through a few things. Yeah, well, the, it's a recent change, because obviously as new equipment comes out, you know, you, you the first thing I'm gonna do is slap the shaft that I had in there. And the shaft I had in there was smoke green, right? Yep. And it worked really well, and my previous driver probably works really well on this one. I haven't actually tested it a ton because when I got the new Titleist TSR3, it came with the old uh, Gen 4 Hazardous. And I really like it yeah. a lot. Um, you know, obviously I've been a Hazardous guy for the most part in the last five, six years. So that brings me to this. Uh, just because of my, I guess, the experience with the driving iron yeah. and then the uh, three wood, why not do they try it in the driver? The TZ5, the Acura TZ5, 60 gram uh, M5. So far, so good. But what I notice is it is a little lighter, right? Yep. Which is great, I think, for a lot of players versus the previous gen of TZ. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't normally do this. I'm normally like a straight in guy. And I went an inch tip on this. Yeah. And for whatever reason, I was just kind of messing with it. And I said, just cut off an inch, let's go. Stiffen it up a little bit, and I, I feel like you know ball speeds are a little bit better for me than this. Controls a little bit better for yeah. me than this. I don't know 100% what the numbers would say if we just hit 10 balls with each, but I, I got to think this one's going to come out on top, and I, I think that would be 1A, and then the uh, the Gen 4 would be 1B, 1B. And, you know, and then the 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 green just sitting here. 
Well, that's maybe a, my swing's not there. Good little old reliable. I, I know this will be that's here right. for me. Yeah, yeah. And so that's kind of where we go with it. And uh, yeah, so far the bag, I, I, I don't tinker a lot. I'd say it's pretty set for quite a while. Yeah, no, love the setup there. Uh, really good stuff. Love the TZ end also on the, the long end of the bag, the five in the driver, yeah. six in the fairway. Makes a lot of sense from that stiffer tip, yeah. softer tip. Low torque in the six still too for keep up with your swing, not feel too loose on you. Well, and then and it's got some speed. And that's just it. It does. I mean, it doesn't yeah. like it's under control. The head, the head is the sauce for me. Like as far as where the ball is really going to go, as long as I can depend on the shaft, you throw the head on there and they're all going to go different ways. And that one likes to go right to left, yeah. but shaft's there for me. Oh, well, that's a pretty nice setup right there, guys. I hope you enjoyed that little what's in the bag, why's in the bag with our buddy, Brian, Brian, as always. Thank you. Brian, Brian. Brian, Brian. Stay tuned. <laughs>